A long, dusty, dry season is well underway on the plains of northeast Thailand. By the time this crop of cassava is harvested in about a year, Thailand should be a democracy again. Most Thais here backed the government ousted in the military coup three years ago, including Paritporn Hongtanaton. A coordinator for a pro-democracy group called the Red Shirts, she says people in the northeast doubt the military will honour its pledge to hold an election in November. I would say 70% of people here don't believe the election will happen and 30% think it might happen. Even if the election is held, the type of democracy will be different to what Thais had before the coup. The military and the establishment in the capital, Bangkok, know that it's very difficult for them to win support in parts of Thailand like this. That's partly why they've designed a system that will result in weakened political parties after the next election. The military will hand-pick senators to sit in the upper house of parliament, who will also have the power to install an unelected prime minister. The plans are being criticised by the major political parties. I think uh, everybody will recognise that that does fall short of the kind of standards that we would like to return to. The leaders of the coup in 2014 are also drafting a 20-year strategic plan that future governments must follow. Everything is, is planned or designed so that the military, military can hold on to power with the plans and strategy that they had earlier formulated. Poor Thai was the party ousted from power by that coup. Former Prime Minister Ying Lak Shinawat, who's in exile avoiding a five-year jail sentence for negligence related to a failed rice subsidy scheme, says her trial was politically motivated. In rural communities in the north and northeast, where farm incomes are falling, her party's popularity seems to be intact. But while political gatherings remain banned, campaigners such as Paritporn have no choice but to get their hands dirty networking in the fields. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Udon Thani, Thailand.